So let us look at the meaning of the term monopoly and what are the reasons which leads to monopoly. If you look at it, the word mono means one, okay, and poly here means the seller. So monopoly is basically a situation in which there is one seller which dominates the market. Let's look at this in detail. Monopoly is a market structure wherein there is a single firm, one firm producing entire output. So whatever is required in respect of that particular product, it is done by a single firm. So if you talk in some countries, let's say uh, a railway would be a good example where the railways is controlled by the government. Right? So we say that the government has a monopoly in railways. Right? So what are the causes of or the features of actually monopoly? The first characteristic like we just discussed is that there is a single firm which produces the output. Now since there is a single firm, is there any distinction between the firm and the industry? I mean, normally an industry would comprise of more than one firms, but in case of monopoly, the firm and industry is more or less the one and the same thing because there's no distinction between the two of them. There are no close substitute, right? If you look at it in case of mobiles, there are various firms which produce mobiles, right? Even if one firm produces type A of a mobile, the other one produces type B, more often than not, this can act as a substitute for first product and vice versa. But in case of monopoly, what happens is that the product which is produced by the monopolist does not have a close substitute, which means people cannot switch on from one product to the other. That option is not available. There are entry barriers, right? And these entry barriers are quite significant, meaning that in order to set up a railway in this example you need a lot of land and the acquisition of that is not something which is easily feasible so there are entry barriers which could be in terms of maybe the availability of resources it could be even the cost which has to be incurred to enter into a particular sector and then there's a perfect knowledge now, who has the perfect knowledge? It is the monopolist who has the perfect knowledge of the product such that he knows everything about the market, right? And as well as the product. So what are the causes of monopoly? The causes could be that there is one firm which controls the necessary resources for production of a particular commodity, right? So if to produce something, you require an input. Input is what? A kind of a raw material which is used to manufacture a particular product. And that product is available only with one firm. The others cannot enter that market. Right? It is assumed that when we talk about these resources, they do not have any close substitute. There is no close substitute for these resources because if there is, then the other producers will use those close substitute to manufacture this commodity. The patents to production process of a particular product lies with a company. Right? So a patent is basically a right which one company may have over the process through which another good is produced. Which means someone else cannot take that same process to produce that good which means no one else can produce that good right and therefore a monopoly will arise the firm has substantial economies of scale now what this means is that if a particular production if a particular sector requires huge investments right and when you make these investments, you reach a particular scale of production, which is so high that your variable costs are very low. 
right? Then in that case, the others will also need to produce at that particular scale only. So look at an example. If there's, suppose there's a farmer who produces 100 kgs of apple in a year, right? There's another one who produces 100,000 kg. Now this gentleman can use farm equipments which will lower his cost of production very significantly because he can use machines to pluck things. But this gentleman may not be able to employ all this, right? So he will never be able to match the cost of production of this company. And therefore, due to the economies of scale which this second gentleman has, this person will not be able to compete with him or enter into the market unless he goes to the same level of production. And if he can't, then this guy will have the monopoly. The state or the government created monopoly through legal barriers. In the railways, everyone or anyone cannot enter. That's a state created monopoly. And cartel is issued by several firms working together. Now, what this means is that, you know, if you look at OPEC, the Organization for Petroleum Exporting Countries, they have got together, right, and they fixed the price of petrol, petrol and petroleum products, right? In this case, what is happening is when the petrol is supplied by them, they fix up the price. They may increase the price, they may reduce the price, right? Although there are other companies as well who supply these, but because they control a large amount of product in the market, right? If they get together and decide we don't want to supply at a price which is below this number, no one else can actually do anything about it. And even if they want to get into this particular petroleum business, they will not be able to compete. So if my cost of production is, let's say, $30 a barrel, right? If all these companies decide that they want to set up and sell at $25 a barrel, right? There's no way I can live by incurring a cost of 30 when others are selling it at 25, right? In such a case, there may be a monopolistic situation which could arise.